A squeeze in the silver market could result in silver prices as high as $100 per ounce, $200 per ounce. Who knows how high it could go? And nobody really seems to be talking about the silver squeeze anymore. Sometimes that's just when these things happen, when nobody's talking about it. Have you ever noticed that in your life, right? It's kind of like how black swan events occur. So what are the conditions that we need for a squeeze to occur? And are those conditions possibly in place right now? Wouldn't it be nice to have a silver squeeze skyrocket? And think about it. Have you ever noticed like the silver market appears to be kind of like me? I don't know about you, but I'm kind of a sensitive guy. Very fragile. Sensitive and fragile are two words we can use to describe the silver market. And that means it's not going to take a lot to break them. And when they break, guess what? The price isn't going to go down. The price is going to skyrocket. Now, none of us have a crystal ball. We can't say that it definitely will happen or when it will happen, but we can go on a little journey together. You're here in the basement with me. I appreciate you being here. I'll hold your hand. Let's walk down the silver squeeze path with our flashlights and look around and look at some different conditions that could align and could result in astronomical returns for silver investors. The first thing we'll look at are the actual physical supplies held in vaults at the big paper electronic exchanges that trade all the silver derivatives. The COMEX in the United States and the LBMA, the London Bullion Market Association in London. There are people that follow closely the level of inventory in those markets and they are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. There are entire YouTube videos and books written about this that you can research. But the bottom line is this, the actual physical silver held at those vaults is decreasing at a precipitous level. As a matter of fact, you may have heard there are almost 387 paper ounces of silver traded for each real ounce of silver in the vaults. Let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know that that's accurate. That's the number I'm finding, and that is astounding. And what about you, my friend? What about me and you, normal, everyday silver investors? Are we able to get silver? I'm getting reports from all over the world that local coin shops have either limited supply or no supply of actual physical silver in inventory. And when we want to buy it, we're paying astronomical premiums, which to me shows there is huge, huge demand on the everyday average investor side and very little supply. And we have full trust in our government leaders, don't we? Well, our sovereign mints are also showing varying degrees of difficulty in producing silver coins, whether it's the U.S. mint, the Canadian Mint, the UK Mint, the Perth Mint, wherever you go, it seems like to one degree or another, they are having production and supply issues. Have you really let this next one sink in? The amount of metal being demanded by the Eastern countries is through the roof. China, India, all the Asian countries have huge, huge demand for silver right now. If we just look at India, it is literally unbelievable. You may not believe this, right? They're going to import 350 million ounces of silver this year. There's only 850 million produced. It's like 40%. We can't talk about that enough. India is sucking up the world's silver supply, and it is raising major alarms within the precious metals community. And there's more to talk about, but I want to remind you, because we forget things, right? This is all occurring within a very fragile, sensitive market, a market that can move quickly because there are such incredible imbalances. Now, look, you may or may not be sensitive. However you handle things, know that you're always welcome to join me here in Ron's basement. You've got a new friend. I'll put out a new video for you every day. If you get 
any type of value, any type of entertainment, please consider subscribing right here. I would really appreciate that. Turn on the little dingling bell notification. That way you won't miss a single video. And let us know what you think in the comments section below. We love to hear from you. Now let's get back to the video. Now let's look at some big picture items, right? We're big thinkers, so we can take a step back. Let's look at the forest through the trees, right? Let's look at overall supply of silver. The mining companies, talk to the CEOs. Do yourself a favor. They will tell you it is darn near impossible to find a new silver deposit. If they find a new silver deposit, it's darn near impossible to get it permitted. If they get it permitted, it's darn near impossible to get financing for it. If they get financing for it, then they got to hope that they can run an efficient operational mine and pull some silver out of the ground. The mining supply is not increasing with silver because we've been through such a horrible, horrible market. And the final big picture item we'll look at is demand because demand is through the roof. All in this environment where supply is shrinking. Industrial demand, right? Solar panels, electric cars, cell phones, whatever. That is growing at a very, very fast clip. Also, investment demand, like we talked about earlier, overall is growing. So when we put it all together, when we kind of stop now on the path and, and think about what we looked at, doesn't it seem like the conditions are ripe for a silver squeeze? And like I said at the beginning, nobody's really talking about it too much right now. That's when these things can kind of sneak up and get you, just like when you get scared on Halloween. Hey. I appreciate you joining me today. Know you are always welcome here. You're important, okay? Your mommy loves you, I love you, and until next time, you be well.